Hello and welcome to this video from Next Level Purchasing's online class, Finance for Strategic Procurement, Part 1. In this video, we're going to be taking a look at how to calculate the amount of a loan payment and how that loan payment will draw down a principal balance uh, from its full amount to zero over a period of time. Now you can see that I've set up the spreadsheet much the way you'll see in the class with a date column plus column headings for the beginning principal balance, the payment, monthly interest, amount to principal, and balance remaining. Now the first thing we want to do is enter the beginning principal balance. Now in this example we're going to be using a loan amount of $3,000 that will be paid back over 36 months. So our beginning principal balance will be $3,000. Now comes the fun part, figuring out the payment. Well, figuring out the amount of a, a payment that will be the same over each month of the loan uh, is more difficult than simply dividing the amount by the number of months over which the loan is paid back. Um, that's because of something called interest. And interest is the amount of money that the bank makes for lending you the money. So it's going to the uh, sum of all payments will exceed the uh, the amount of the loan. Fortunately, Excel makes it pretty easy to uh, determine the amount of a monthly payment. What you do, you go over to the formulas tab uh, and I'm in Excel 2007 and click on insert function. You have to select a function, and uh, right here I see PMT, which is short for the payment function. I will select that, click on OK. That will display a dialog box, and that dialog box will request a few pieces of information from me. The first piece of information it needs to know is the rate, and the rate is the interest rate per period for the loan. Now I emphasized per period because it's very common for interest rates to be expressed as annual rates but payments to be made monthly. So you have to figure out the interest rate that will apply to the period uh, and not just the year. And this gives an example, use 6% divided by 4 for quarterly payments at 6% APR. Well, let's say that we do have a 6% APR, but we're going to be making monthly payments. So what I'll do is I'll type in 6% divided by 12, 12 months in the year. The next field we need to fill out is NPER. And that is the total number of payments or periods for the loan. Uh, a three-year loan paid monthly uh, will result in 36 payments, pretty simple. And the third field that we need to fill out is PV, or present value. And Excel explains this as the total amount that a series of future payments is worth now. Or, to simplify it, it's the amount of the loan. And that is $3,000. The fourth field is FV, or future value and that's a cash balance you want to attain after the last payment is made which you want it to be zero. You want uh, to be done with payments and have your loan completely paid off. And then the final field is type and the type field can be filled in with either a one or a zero. If you were making your payment at the beginning of the period, in other words you were making your first payment as soon as you get the money, uh, you'd enter a one. But if you're paying at the end uh, of a period, in other words, you get a loan payment and maybe a month later you make your first payment, that's considered at the end of the period, in which case you would enter a zero. So there we go. When we click on OK, we'll see that we will pay $91.27 per month for our loan payment. Now loan payments are divided into two components. The amount that gets paid towards principal or the amount, in other words, the amount that uh, your the the amount that you owe gets decreased by, or interest, and that's kind of the profit for the bank. So, how do you figure these things out? Well, first we'll figure out interest, and your interest amount will vary each month because every payment you make draws down your principal, and you only pay interest on the amount that you still owe. 
So to figure out your monthly interest, you have to multiply the rate per period by the current principal balance. In this case, we'll type in, just as we did earlier, 6% divided by 12. We'll put that in parentheses to get our monthly rate, and then we'll multiply that amount by the beginning principal balance. And we see for this first month, $15 of that $91.27 will go towards interest. Now this gets a little tricky. By default, uh, Excel will express the payment amount as a negative number, and your interest amount is a positive number. So you want to make sure that when figuring out the amount to principal, which is essentially your payment less uh, your the amount towards interest, that you use the correct mathematical operator. So in this case, we'll take that payment, which is a negative number, and we'll add to it the positive number of the monthly interest, and that will give us an amount of principal of $76.27, also expressed as a negative number. And we'll, you know, we'll use that amount towards principal uh, to draw down the amount of the principal that we owe. So we take 3000 and we want to decrease that by the amount towards principal. We'll use a plus sign since this amount to principal is a negative number. And we'll see that after our first payment, we will now owe just $2,923.73. And the ending value for one month, the, end, the balance remaining for one month, uh, becomes your beginning balance for the next month. So instead of typing this in, we can make it easy. Just type equals, click on that cell, and that basically tells, uh, tells Excel that this is your new principal balance. It's the same as your old balance. Now you may be thinking, hey, that seems like a lot of work. Do I got to do that 36 times? Well, fortunately, no. Um, you can use copying. Now the amount of your payment will not change, so you can simply copy that down. Your monthly interest is your monthly interest rate multiplied by the beginning principal balance. Notice when you copy this down, it changes from referencing B2 which is on the same line, to B3, which is on the same line over here. And you'll also notice that your monthly interest is lower. Your principal, or the amount that you owe, went down, so the amount of interest that you'll have to pay went down as well. Again, your amount to principal is your payment less your amount to interest, so we'll copy that down, and you'll see that your amount to principal is a little more this month. Again, copying can be done to apply the amount to principal from your payment towards your beginning principal balance to get to your balance remaining. And now we have formulas in all five of our cells here. You see here in cell B2, we typed in 3,000. In cell B3, which is your beginning balance for your second month, you simply referenced another cell. So now that, that can be copied and you can copy your entire spreadsheet actually by highlighting all five of those cells hovering your mouse pointer over the bottom right handle of those of that range double clicking and your spreadsheet is populated and if we scroll down to your 36 month you'll see that your balance is zero so that is how you set up a loan spreadsheet if you'd like to see how uh, a spreadsheet like this is applied in, in situations, I encourage you to check out our online class, Finance for Strategic Procurement Part 1, and you can uh, check that out at nextlevelpurchasing.com.